hello you guys welcome back to my channel so on today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different we're going to be cooking today so for today i'm going to be making some pork chops some instant white rice some french style green beans because these are like the only green beans that i like now and then we're also going to be doing some cheesy potatoes all right, for the seasonings today, I'm gonna to be using some ground black pepper, some onion powder, some salt, some garlic powder, and also some roasted garlic and herb seasoning. Those are the only seasoning I'm gonna be using. All right, and to start this off, I'm gonna first, of course, this is kind of common sense, just gonna start by cutting open the package and then we're gonna put it in the sink to wash it. After I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on, don't judge me, I'm using a cutting board because that's like the first thing I grab. So I'm just gonna put all the meat on the cutting board. And then you always wanna make sure you wash your hands after you touch some meat so you don't get anybody sick. Don't ask me where that came from. Just make sure you guys are washing your hands and wiping down you know, everything after you finish touching the meat. So you don't contaminate nothing, know what I'm saying? All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna get a pot, get your pan, try not to drop your top in it from the oil or whatever you use in your pans. I'm using vegetable oil, so I'm just adding a good amount of vegetable oil so we can start frying up these pork chops. And then I'm gonna put the stove on, I believe I put it on six. Mm. Mm. Yep, I put it on six. And then we're gonna season up that meat. So I don't think I'm going in any particular order, but it looks like here I'm starting with the salt. And then I'm gonna add the pepper. And then I'm gonna add the onion powder. Then I'm gonna add, then I'm gonna add the garlic powder. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add the roasted garlic and herb seasoning. It's the best seasoning ever. So while I'm waiting for the my pan for my pork chops to heat up, I'm gonna go ahead and just add the French style green beans to the pan. Then we go ahead and drop them pork chops into the pan, you know what I'm saying? And then after I drop them, I'm dropping them season side up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and season them the same way that I seasoned them on the cutting board while they're in the pot, pan, pot, while they're cooking. season the french style green beans i'm going to first add some onion powder if y'all can't tell i love me some onion powder and then i'm going to add some pepper and then i'm going to add some chicken bouillon seasoning that's what makes the green beans taste really good so if you haven't tried that yet try it but don't add too much because if you add too much it's going to make it salty so add just the right amount and it'll be perfect All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the cheese potatoes. So I'm gonna just go ahead and add one and three fourths of water, hot water into the pot. All right, y'all don't come for me. I don't know the exact measurements. I don't have the box right in front of me, but I'm gonna add some milk. I believe I added like two thirds cup of milk into there or one half. Like I said, don't come for me. Just know you add milk. When you get the box, if you use it, just follow the instructions that are on the box. I'm just trying to sound smart here, you know. This one I remember, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just two tablespoons of butter. You know, and I know I add more than two tablespoons, but butter is good for the soul. So, you know, I add a lot. Can't do no harm. I mean, it can, but it can't. And then I added the sauce. I forgot to add the noodles in there with it. 
So, but I added those later. So, yeah, I just didn't show that on camera because I forgot to add them. And then you just mix it all up, bring it to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, you're going to turn it down like to medium and just let it simmer for like 15 minutes. I remember that from the box. I remember that because I make this enough, but I remember some details, just not all of them. Okay, it's about time to flip those pork chops over. Don't judge my flipping skills. I'm not an expert, but hey, I get the job done. So I just flip those over, let them cook on the other side. And my laptop's about to die, so I gotta grab a charger. I don't know why I said that, that was irrelevant. Anyways, yeah. So I think for right now, I've done all the explaining that I need to do. So, and I think I'm showing y'all, did I add the noodles? I don't remember, anyways. I think I've done all the explaining that I need to do. I'm just let you guys watch what I do, speed the video up, cause I don't want this video to be too long. And yeah, I think y'all get the gist of it from here on out. If I need to say something, of course, I'll come back on here and speak to y'all. I'm gonna put on some music, make y'all rock out, relax, you know, whatever, watch me cook. Yeah, let's go ahead and get it started. Well, finished. So here, I, it's been cooking for a little minute. I don't know how long, but as you guys can see, I'm mixing it up. And earlier I said noodles, I meant potatoes. Forgot what the heck I was making. I forgot to add the potatoes, but I added them last minute. Don't mind me. I'm not gonna edit that out because I don't feel like we were saying it. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm mixing up the potatoes. And as you guys can see, I have a glove on because you see that steam, that thing is hot, man. I tried to mix that thing with my glove on and it did not work. It did not work, but the food is almost done. As you can see, the pork chops are looking lovely. The French fries, ha, French style green beans are looking good. So yeah, we're about to get this thing wrapped up. I'm about to make the rice here in a second. So we're making the rice now. So I make my rice in the microwave because every time I try to make it on the stove, it doesn't come out right. It's not cooked all the way. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I thought I was doing it right. I guess I wasn't. But every time I cook it in the microwave, it comes out perfect. So here we go. So for the rice, I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups of rice and we're gonna add two cups of water. pop that thing in the microwave for six minutes if you don't mind my microwave i gotta clean it all right now the six minutes are up i'm gonna go ahead and grab that out of the microwave be careful because it can be hot and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the fun part we're gonna add the seasonings to it look how good that rice looks look at it all right, so another thing we're gonna add to the rice is two tablespoons of butter, or you know, however much you wanna add, and I'm just gonna add salt and pepper. Now, I would add my onion powder, but my husband doesn't like when I use onion powder and everything, so I'm just gonna do salt and pepper in the rice. I think that's all I did, and it was pretty good, so yeah. <music> to these random red bowls and bon appetit now i didn't put up a like any clips of me actually eating the food but i will say it was good it was pretty good i just you know once i cooked it i was tired and you know i just wanted to eat and go to sleep so that's what i did but it was pretty good let me know what you guys think down below if you like the video give it a thumbs up let me know anything else you guys want me to do down below in the comment section. I'm just really spitting out like random stuff for y'all. So yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.